Okay, let's set the rules of the walkie-talkies while we're on the podcast. Okay. Watches. You want me to walkie-talkie while I'm wanking? <laughs> I- you want me to wank and walkie? Walkie-talkie wank? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 28 of Dropouts. I'm surprised you actually remember. It's 28? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. I can't. And guess what? Christmas is over. Ha ha ha. I have thrown. Uh, that was so bad, too. I, would I have thrown. such a better job. I asked him if I could throw the snowman, and he said no. For audio listeners, I just threw a half snowman, half um, Christmas tree. All right, now it's oh, Indy's turn. Oh, going to throw it, but she did it oh, off camera, so no perf. one saw. No. Not only that, she got fluff absolutely all over the set. That's <laughs> Dude, it looked like a freaking, like, bird exploded. <laughs> the amount of fluff that just flew everywhere. I need to talk about something that happened to me. Um, recently. It's our New Year's episode. Oh, uh, happy, new, happy New Year! Is it our New Year's episode? Oh. Yeah. Whoa, I did not say any intro music. You didn't say B words, I don't think. What the hell, Jared? I did. I, it's Jared, Jared felt, ready, ready, Jared, wait, 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 it wait, felt wait, like wait, you were wait, getting wait, into a wait, story. Jared. Shut the f*** up. Yes, when Jared, go to hell. No, shush. <laughs> I'm getting for him. I'm getting you When does for this you. come out? Uh, This comes out. Let look. me look at the calendar. Wait, it's New Year's episode? Wait, shush. Yeah, it comes Give me out a second. on shush. the third. Okay. Shush. What's up, B words? Happy New Year. It's 2021. Um, We're still in the middle of a global pandemic. My depression has hasn't gotten any better and neither of us have slept in about mm, 24 hours sounds about right at the time that we're filming this it'll be about right when new year's hits too well i got in the other day uh like a couple days ago <laughs> oh my god and i forgot so we've all yeah we we didn't go to bed till about 5 a.m that night either yeah so when i so cincinnati where i'm from uh is about three hours ahead that's where he's LA. been for 10 days yeah so yeah oh, we, we can talk about your dates we can <gasps> okay okay, okay yay because we'll she's not a bitch and won't yell at you for talking about your life jeez so pete um <laughs> did i have a conversation with her before we filmed the podcast about asking if i could talk about them absolutely because i wanted to avoid that exact did reason did she say yes she said yes she's cute Do i'll be right back guys Just give me another second Anyway, what the f are you doing? What are you doing? doing? Just chill. Everybody just chill. Talk. <laughs> I can't find what I'm looking for. Exactly. What are you looking what for? Do you want? Give me a second. Is it, what are you? We're giving you so many seconds. You looking for the sparklers? <laughs> They're in my pile, you idiot. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to call people. Yes. <laughs> is that what we're gonna do don't hit me please come I'm on gonna hit you. Zach. i'm gonna come sit in your chair and everybody she just called me an idiot for absolutely no reason where are the sparklers they're no in I, pile. they're in that's what i'm looking i couldn't find them <laughs> hell yeah no 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 no, no. <laughs> are you happy with yourself now there's red bull everywhere oh my god i hope you enjoy your wings please don't let that get but on happy the new year sparklers oh dude our de- so yeah, your life's hard. Um, <laughs> hey, guys, just Zach on the set now in Indy's chair. Um, we're having a couple mental breakdowns because no one's had proper sleep for quite some time. I also got, I got to find a lighter. Jared, do you have a lighter? Shut up. Jared's currently lighting a sparkler for me for the audio listeners. It's not Come on, Jared. This is, about this is a climax. There we go. Jared. Come on, man. The people are waiting. for Performance issues. It happens. This is our fire. This is our fireworks show. Jerry, find another one. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna get the sparkler lit for you guys, and I'm gonna go like this. Here we go. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. What the hell? I'm just convinced that these can't catch on fire. Oh, this got everywhere. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's for the New Year episode. What? Oh, I can't run at you with fire. Okay. What kind of friendship is this? Do you see how long I'm burning this for? Like, what? Oh! oh there we go. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! And you're in my shot. Oh, my God. Dude, these are terrifying. Why do But Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, my God! Jared, don't light the apartment on fire. It's first rule of having an apartment is don't light it on fire. Ah. 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 Jared, I knew he'd be scared of the sparklers. Dude, Jared, sit back it? down. It's exploding. You're fine. Oh, put it in the mic. Ooh, that's crackly and nice. It's that you're putting it so close. Yeah, these are things are sparkler proof. It's on the box. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. That you're welcome actually, for the fireworks that show. That's actually so, terrifying. So now does everyone want to say sorry because I took so long because I was trying to find something pretty cool. I like how we literally lit something on fire in our apartment. <laughs> Two things. 
and the smoke alarm didn't come go off. But like the second that we like microwave something, our smoke alarm. Dude, that makes, that makes complete sense because you absolutely burn the hell out of everything. So like my food. Yes. Ah, yeah. The burning love for me, dude. I. <laughs> What's that Elvis song? Let's talk about while we're all two days ago. All right, no. I was up for twenty eight hours. Yeah, you're up till about five a.m., which is about eight a.m. your time. It was six a.m. I was up till six a.m. Oh, six. That's nine a.m. Your nine a.m. And I had been up for twenty eight hours at that point, point. and then we and then Indy was up till like four or five with us, you know. Mm-hmm. And then what were so you guys doing? We were just talking. So I had picked her up from the airport. And um, we came back to their apartment because I was wrapping presents. Um, so we were. I wasn't there. We were. I crashed at about five a.m. You guys were up at about six. Yeah. So yeah, that was an intense night. And then didn't that, get much sleep that, well, that day. night. That night as well. I didn't get. Mu- I didn't really get much sleep that day either. And then that night I was up to about five a.m. as well. Wait. That was today. Okay. Was it really? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so then after not sleep, going to bed until six o'clock in the morning. Finally, we go to bed like last night at like. Three. You guys go to bed at three. We go home. Riley and I went home. I just got back from from Vegas. They picked, picked me up, up from the airport. airport. I this is the first time I've had like fallen asleep in Why like my flash four on? days. I don't know. First time falling asleep in four days. I get a FaceTime. It's Indy. Do you want to go watch the suns? No. Do you want to go watch the sunrise? And I was like, oh. I couldn't think of anything I'd want to do less. <laughs> I was so tired and very irritable. Actually, but I knew she really wanted to go, so I went. Actually, we called Jared first, and we went. You're, no, you got your second you up text from me. So I get a text from India. It's like, hey, you up? Because I am. Because <laughs> you know? I am. And then I and FaceTimed him twice. He picked up on the second, which was exciting because I know Jared always sleeps with his ringer on, which yep. is my favorite thing ever. Which I'm going to stop no! doing. No. Then I'm you not miss out on these it. little adventures. And I go, hey, Jared, Riley and I haven't slept yet. It's like 530 in the morning. Riley and I haven't slept yet. You down for an adventure? He went, on some sweatpants it was the biggest sigh was i was just so like funny. We're, i guess I we're doing like, this weren't you like tired tired <laughs> dude i was dead when i woke up and then i was just like and then we went to jack in the box and got coffee and then i was good to go mm-hmm. but i was like i haven't slept since then i took a fat nap today oh it's great i went to bed at like 10 30 this morning and i woke up around like four huh it was I heavenly went- I came home and I was still like pumping with energy, which is really weird. My adrenaline had absolutely just kicked in and like, I don't know why I couldn't sleep. Is your camera meant to be absolutely flashing? Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm so out of it. I came home and I was like, you know what? I'm up. Let me just film this quick IGTV video real quick. I did my hair and makeup. I was still up till about 11, 30, 12 o'clock. And then I absolutely crashed till about four. So how was the sunset guy or sunrise guys? make it we didn't make it interesting because we put in the wrong address twice and you guys went to a jack-in-the-box that was like the complete opposite way i don't know know what what's wrong with her directions like her ways must be absolutely effed up so basically we we got up to go to (laughs) jack-in-the-box at 5 30 in the morning (laughs) yeah that's exactly what we did because we tried to go to the maholland like overlook but it took us to like i don't know if it's the very beginning of maholland or the very end but it was it's not not even like in the mountains like for anybody that doesn't know about like i was like yeah i was like this is wrong like Mulholland's the road that like rides the you mountain that separates the actual city from the valley. And so it's like you could see it's just like a great overlook spot. Do you want to know how far away it was from here? How far? 3.6 miles. I know. I've been there so many times. Oh. Then why wouldn't you? Because you guys went to Jack in the Box so far away. I thought I was like, oh, we must have went to a really far Jack in the Box. So this We is... didn't go to a Jack in the Box that far away. The Jack in the Box was I was also minutes. I was also running on half a brain cell <laughs> <laughs> i was like bloop bloop and i was like we're at jack in the box and just gotta be close to my highland oh we're at a far jack in the box what i assume based on the gps i trusted you guys I riley trust- let us down she did twice actually she put the wrong address in twice you know it is what it is i'm so pissed about it me jared and indy are going to new york city <laughs> oh wait oh wait Zach, interesting you do that? what you know. You're not going? What? Jared. Interesting. Effa how Jared. Effa Jared, you wouldn't book a ticket right now and come. Interesting how I don't get an invite to the one city that I've told both of you that I wanted well, Jared, to go we to. we thought you were scared yeah. of apples. <laughs> what am I, a doctor? Like the apple, I have a doctor, apple a day. 
hey, why don't we why don't we try again? Why don't we use the words in our brain? The and joke would have been good if it was executed correctly. Uh, but it was yeah. executed absolutely poorly. <laughs> so it's it's the big apple Jared tried to like play on like an, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. away. Yeah. I'm not going and I'm upset because But where did you just go? Ohio. Nice. I guess. And you had the best date of your life, <gasps> I hear. <laughs> Are we allowed like, well, to talk about that? Yeah, Are we not allowed to talk about that? No, yeah. we're allowed to talk about that. It turns into a Can't. I don't want to say her name. Why? I'll say it then. Oh. Dude, why? Who cares? Well, I, I, you've only been on two dates. It's weird if you call him. The girl out on. You already the, asked her if she could. Yeah, know. but I I said like yeah, I wouldn't mention not, names. Yeah, or yeah, anything. yeah. Don't mention names. All right. So Jared <laughs> went on a first date with a girl that um he has admired for quite some time. I'm for assuming quite two some years. Time. I'm assuming sounds, two years. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. Really, you've liked her for that long. So we uh we had worked together. And what was um, her name? Huh? What was <laughs> her name again? Anyway, so we worked at the same place, but funny enough, never worked no. together. We always worked on like <laughs> opposite. <laughs> She's Head telling wolf. a story. Jared's literally like, this is my first date in so long. And he goes, sick. So I'm actually going to see what's on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kiss FM played me. I oh, that's great. That. Let him tell his story. <laughs> so we had never worked together. Our schedules were always opposite. Anyway, my oh. manager and who is like one of my really close friends at the time. Um, she was like, Jared, there's this girl that started working here. Um, and she's really cute, really nice. And I think you guys would get along great. Here's her like Instagram, reach out to her. So I did. So then we started talking, whatever. With a huh? explicit picture of your penis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. Such a child. So we started talking. Jared, we deny it, please. I, I, well, you talk about this, I'm going to go get some cookies. Oh my God. Of course I well, did send story. an explicit picture but, but of like, my genitals. Um, but I when, when that people want to hear, like a it's given. a podcast of us reacting to his story. But I've already reacted. To it, so I understand, would, but the people be, didn't see it. But it wouldn't be real if I reacted. I understand, now. but you're it's an like, actress, ah. correct? <laughs> yeah. You're about to have a movie on airplanes. Isn't that sick? Guys, it comes out spring of 2021. Jared just wants to tell a story. I just so bad. Okay, Sit I'm gonna back go, and... Yes, no, I'm going to go get some cookies. I've heard this story. I'm going to sit here it's, silently until she comes I'm back. I'm listening. I'll tell you, Zach. Okay, you bye. said you met her at Quiznos? <laughs> <laughs> Sad that place went under. So we reached out. We had been talking for like a year. And then we finally like met up last Christmas. And like we just got breakfast. Shut up. If you're not going to be in the room, don't talk. <laughs> you gave me. So then we met up last Christmas and got like breakfast or whatever. And it was really good. Like that was the first time we had met in person. Um, and it was great. And then we continued talking for a year. And then. Wow. You guys were talking for a year? Like flirty talk or? Flirt talk. I mean, I was, have, have I was trying met? to be. Well, well, why you guys met? What? <laughs> Won't this be cute to have one day? You're like retelling the first date and you can go back and watch it in case you guys get married or the opposite. You guys, you know, fall out of love and never talk to each other again. Wait, Jesus had you guys met before the two dates that you just went on? Just once. Oh. Um, You've only met her twice? Well, three, three times. times. Uh, I hear you. No, we met the two dates and then the the time before. Anyway, so then this Christmas was coming up and she reached out. She's like, hey, are you going to be home for the holidays? I said, yeah. And she's like, we should get dinner. And I said, oh, so right. she made the first move. Yes. She said, what's up, boy? So. I'm trying to eat with if you. If I remember correctly. She said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to chow down oh. with you. And your dick. No, Indeed. there was no cock play, there right, Jared? No, no. Jared, say, there was no cock play. There was no cock play. But yell it. There is no cock <laughs> play. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, um, no. but the funny part was. This was, was very nice, so I'm sorry I made that joke. Indy and Zach met we got her off, on FaceTime. Yeah, we literally, right before this, she's like, I'm so excited to be part of the pre-podcast ritual. She's like so happy and so sweet, like polar opposite of me as a human. Yeah. And so we hung this up why and she's I great. <laughs> <laughs> we hung the phone up and Jared. I looked at Jared and I said Retweet. <laughs> That was a small joke among friends <laughs> <laughs> we, we hung up the phone and I looked at Jared I said oh, Don't bring her into this, I don't want to break her <laughs> The funny part was Neither of us knew whether or not it was a date or not <laughs> It was the funny part, Jared <laughs> Thanks, Zach Anyways, because we, we went to this nice restaurant downtown uh, Made Very a reservation Oh, don't what? Did she ever find about the friends in disguise? Oh. She's about to find out now. You're about to find out. <laughs> um, oh, I can't say. <laughs> we went to this nice restaurant downtown, made a reservation, and uh, it was great. Got this like little back corner table, candle lit and everything. Very cute. Very cute. So we were Am there. acting well? <laughs> so we were there yeah. for a couple hours. I told two of my really close friends. Um, names? That I was going, I'm not going to say names. <laughs> that I... Um, that I was going on so this cool. date and 
she also knows them. Um, and so they thought it would be funny to um, dress up in disguise and go to the restaurant at the same time and like spy on the date to see how it was going. As Big Bird and Elmo. I had no idea. That so they Jared were had there. no idea his friends were spying. But they were taking videos and pictures the whole time, which is adorable because now they have photos of their first date. Like they, really natural, candid photos. Yeah, it was kind of funny. They were like documenting the whole thing. They're like, oh my gosh, Zach, if you don't stop fake laughing, <laughs> if more. you don't tell me, if you tell me things are funny, I'm going to laugh. It's programmed in me. They were documenting the whole thing. They were just like, they're like, oh, they're getting their food. They're getting, you know, I, I told the restaurant that it was her birthday, which it's not. Um, oh, so you're a liar. <laughs> I just thought it would be funny because I was hoping they did. Lying like is not funny. It's actually one of the commandments. Mariachi band kind of thing where they made like a big deal out of it. Um, but no, they just brought a churro out with a candle. <laughs> <laughs> was it a Mexican restaurant? Yeah. I had a sixth grade birthday that was very similar. Was it food good? Did you get a quesadilla? I did not get a quesadilla. Good. Good. What did you get? We split. Uh, split? Did you guys split something? Yeah, we split the whole meal. Oh, wow. You couldn't uh, fork over was enough like- money to, you know, let her get her own meal? Cheapskate, huh? First date. No. It Go was all out. All, it's all, it's like tapas stuff. So oh, like, you want to take her top off. To say, was it like tapas? So yeah. it was like all shareable food. Exactly. Yeah. I thought you meant like y'all like had a burrito and like you took a bite, she took a bite. Did you guys eat it from this, uh, like the, the lady in the tramp? Y'all just put it <laughs> Each end of the taco. <laughs> Did you hold the taco up and like look her in the eyes for a solid two minutes and then afterwards say, it's so nice to taco with you, to talk with you. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you be honest? Because I won't. Just tell me. Man, I wish I was just as quick-witted as you. Zach. Stop. That no, would have I'm been... insecure about that. Does Something anyone happened. know what taurine is? A chemical. That That's what's in here. So I was planning on drinking all of that, and now I have. So after York. dinner, it was no, great. We went on pop, like a little... six melatonins tonight. <laughs> we went on a walk around our fountain square downtown. <laughs> it was cute. There's is a it? Christmas tree, Christmas Did you make a wish? Music. Like get a coin and flip it in and make a wish? No. That would have been cute, you The know? fountain was turned off. But I guess you don't think about those things. 27 degrees. Um, anyway, we're on a walk and this is, this is the really cute part. She's like, she's like, can I ask you something? And I was like, yeah, of course. And she's like, ah, is, is this a date? Cause I really want it to be a date. Check I'm having a lot of fun. Why? I've heard this. But it's a podcast <laughs> where we're supposed to talk <laughs> and there you literally get mad at me because you're on your phone and I show it in the podcast because I have nothing else to cut to. You're being a bad friend. Jared, so that was our she first should date. have to wear the douche glasses. Oh, that's a big douche glass moment. I will break those glasses in half if you hand them to me. I promise you. I'm going to break him. I didn't hand them to you. And did we learn our lesson? <laughs> 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 I don't know about y'all. I, I think I look pretty sick ass. <laughs> According to y'all, that's us. So you look anyway. like your cousin's ready after this to have sex with you. Go ahead. <laughs> Anyway, that was the story of our first date. Okay, did you kiss her at the end? Maybe. Wow, tongue involved? Zach. I'm Zach. asking a question. This is a question among friends. He can cut it out of the podcast if he wants cut to. Cut that out. Did you get Zach? Dude, look at old race car driver over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dale Earnhardt. You look like your favorite again. movie's Cars 2, and I hate that about you. <laughs> Go ahead. I Cars did. 2 f***ing suck. You haven't seen it. It's about like them, like, it's like, it's not really like them racing. It's like they go on like Riley a told you that exact thing. Yeah. I know you haven't seen the movie. No, I've seen it just a very long time ago. I rewatched the Cars recently. <laughs> yeah, we know. I rewatched anyway, the Anyway, what, did you, re- <laughs> what did you guys do recently. while I was gone? I was in Las Vegas, Nevada. I How was, was that? She was supposed to pick me up from Vegas. I was supposed to go down to Vegas. But um, my sleep schedule absolutely got effed up. and She stayed up too late mm-hmm. and um, overslept. After she already made dinner plans with my sweet grandpa. Larry. And we went, like, you to, let Larry We went to down. the nicest restaurant that we never go to just for Indy. Oh. You owe him so much. I know. God. How could you do that to him? Tell Larry you got a damn tattoo. Zach already told him. He was probably disappointed. He was. <laughs> he was disappointed. I know. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry, Larry. Zach went to Vegas. We were all kind of a- away from each other for a bit. Zach went to Vegas. I got his mom flowers, though. Did get my mom flowers, but then we stayed up till midnight wrapping your presents, and then you didn't all come right, to okay. get the presents. <laughs> Gina? She's sorry. Tell Gina you're sorry. I felt so bad, and I am sorry. And because what are you going to do to make up for it? Visit? Maybe something a little extra. <laughs> I was like, I feel like you need to do a little more is than it? just come visit. Probably get her an anthropology gift card. There we go. This is actually what she got sad about. She's like, you know, I was actually kind of getting excited and he was going to come down. I always wanted a girl. I just really she wanted really to say that. Yeah. She's like, I oh, just, so I just really wanted to go shopping and have kind of a girl's day since oh, I never my had a girl. God. And I said, I hear you, mama. 
And you know. really did that to Sick. Gina. Can I tell you guys what happened to me today? Yes. I oh. have the worst headache I've ever had in my entire life. And you guys want to know why? why? I was on a basketball court running around after no sleep. I was balling with my boys. Hey, white boy, go over there and jump and catch it and put it in the hoop. That's what everybody was saying to me. They actually do call me white boy. <laughs> Brady. <laughs> the, those are the old people. I don't play with them anymore. Um, now it's just people that exclusively call me white boy and <laughs> refuse to learn my name. But it's fine. Because <laughs> actually, I feel really cool. Um, do you feel respected? I do feel respected. Even though they're calling you white boy? Yeah. So imagine this. I'm on a fast break. Bounce. Ooh, between the legs. Go back to the right hand. I go up for a right hand layup. Oh, no. There's water under the goal. I slip and fall. Knock my head on the ground. I'm like, oh, no. I'll never see you again. And then this giant guy, um, he was guarding me. So he jumps in the air since I fell. And then he um, falls with his very pointy knee on the back of my head. And then I smack my head again on the ground. And um, now I can only see in black and white. So Really? Yeah. But in all seriousness, my head hurts very much. I'm pretty sure like you have like a mild concussion. I, I wanted him to go to the doctor and like I was like, yo, traveling with a concussion is like one of the most dangerous things you could ever Well, do. I was going to go to the doctor, but I ate, I ate an apple today <laughs> and they won't come near me. I hate you. <laughs> no? Bring it right nice back. Nice call back. Thank you so much. Um, no, Can the, they notice the color of my eyes right now? Maybe, but hold on. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe, but we we're having a conversation. I know why you won't go to the doctor. Why? Because has my yeah. sister's a doctor and she's always been so much better than me and I feel like a failure to the family every time I go to the doctor it reminds me of that is that why jared um no i was concerning. thinking that seems unhealthy hey instagram yeah what do you actually want us to get mad at you if you're on your phone because i'm just tired guys uh, boy, i'm so tired and i've had zach's concussed <laughs> like i can't see and i'm pissed off so we're in the same we're in the same boat <laughs> it's a joke it was a joke among friends you say things so seriously i don't oh, know dude she does because i'm an actor no you're not you can't just be like i'm acting now like a plumber is not just walking around and then just like sees a random thing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a plumber. I plumb things. I plumb them. Okay. So you can't just randomly act without telling anybody. Jeez. Oh, was that funny? Jared didn't even say this is going to be funny. So you can't laugh. Weren't you paying for what you thought was like health insurance for like a year? Yeah. So I go to the doctor recently. What was it? Did you ever figure that out? No. I go to the doctor recently because I had a medical emergency. I walk in. I say, hey, here's my medical card. I got to get to see the doctor fast. I got something wrong with my body. And they say. I think you just wanted a general checkup. They said, sir, no. Sir, no. You, this is expired. The card. And I said, what? I've been paying. So it turns out I've been paying $60 a month. But for some reason, they. 60 bucks a month for insurance? That doesn't work. So. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> work. Wait. You pay sixty dollars a month? Yes. Two hundred and forty dollars a month for insurance. You pay how much? Two hundred and forty bucks. How many people are on your? Is it okay, like I don't you know who bent you over and absolutely me? screwed you. No, it's because I have premium coverage, so I can go wherever I want. Like I can go to any hospital, and I'm gonna be covered, and I can go to any doctor's office, and I can be covered. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So I've been paying for insurance, and then I actually put in how much I pay. Yeah, because people will be freaking out about that. No, because my mom gets iffy with me talking about money because she's like, doesn't want people to think I'm like a spoiled brat online. Oh, yeah, you're a spoiled brat because you pay for health insurance. <laughs> Guys, I'm just, <laughs> oh, I'm just a brat. Because <laughs> I can go to the doctor <laughs> whenever I want. Anyway, I'm paying for insurance that apparently I don't have. Did you can't, Did you have a, No, I didn't paying? figure, I'm, yes, I got the email this morning. <laughs> Zach! <laughs> what, they apparently need my money, no, so I want to help them out. So I want to help them out. I got to get that figured it out before january 1st why because that's like when like the insurance like that's normally like when i'll just call first. obama and see if you can take care of me <laughs> obamacare yeah all right the only other thing i wanted to express today is something that's been happening to me um when i walk back from basketball there is a, a oh is this what you wanted to talk about yeah there is a there's a there's <laughs> to a get our live reactions yes yeah, so there's a okay there's a dark <laughs> creepy road that leads back to our apartment. And I like to take that road because I'm daring. But every time I take this road, I see a man who um, exclusively wears a toboggan, no matter What's if a it's... a toboggan? It's a hat. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hat. We'll show you later. Just Can you a, pull it up a phone? Okay. All right. Pulling we'll up a toboggan. Absolutely derail the story of all the momentum so we <laughs> can see a what a toboggan is. I toboggan <laughs> I need to get a good visual. No, I know. I know. This is worth it. Trust me. Because this is what the story is about, is hat wear. 
And um, there it is. There we go. That actually looks very similar to what Wait, he has. So that's a beanie. How is that a toboggan? Do, you the, see the things on the sides? Yeah. Right, that's the tobogganism. Honestly, it looks like um, a cloth jellyfish, if we're being frank. Anyway, oh. go ahead. All right, we good now? Now that you've seen. I've got a good visual. <laughs> great. It's a guy in a hat. <laughs> and um, I, I walk by and I... Oh, it scares me every time because he always just sits on his porch just chillingly and he just looks. It looks like he's seeing everything and nothing at the same time. Yes. And then he he just stares at me. And then I kind of, I, I do a quick glance at him. Because if you, the problem is if you if you lock eyes, something happens. And I have locked eyes recently. Yep. What did he do? Whip out his dick? Worse. <laughs> he, he whipped out mine. <laughs> no. I got a good time, actually. No, I did not get a hand job by the toboggan man. I promise. <laughs> So I'm walking. No, no. This is what this is honestly what he does. If you lock eyes with him and you're walking, <laughs> when you're like 20 feet away, he'll start sprinting towards you. Wait, as what? fast as he is can. Is he homeless? No, no, no. He definitely he, has a home. He's sitting at his home, but like, he'll just sprint towards you if you're not looking at him. Yeah, like as it's fast like, as he can. If and you're and not it's looking, like, uh, yeah. it, it's like that guy from Get Out. Like, do you remember when he's like yeah, sprinting towards? It's literally him? like that. Or um, if you look at him, or if you don't, if there's, you, there's if you this, look at him. So if you make eye contact. And then, like, that's he and walks then, on. And but then, if you look away, then he starts then he sprinting. Starts, okay, have you seen Weeping Angels? I think that's what it's called from mm -hmm. um, Doctor Who. It's oh. like, so it's like, I love if you Doctor don't, Who. If you don't look at him, they come for you. So that's what he does. So, he, oh, man, he was sprinting towards me. But right when you look back, he stops. And, yeah. then, he just, and then he just stares. And then I Is just, this real? Yes, I promise. 100%. And I, keep walk, and I keep walking, and then he goes back to his lair. And this happened to me twice recently. I think we need to explain more about what this guy looks like other this than really, the really toboggan. Because, like, the toboggan's weird, but he's this guy... Yeah, he's usually in, like, a like a Pokemon shirt. Maybe? Yeah, it's always, like, some sort of cartoon. Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Is he okay? Um, Adventure Time. I've seen him wearing a lot of that. Maybe he's uh, just working before. on his wind sprints and he wants to impress me. I don't know. But I felt like I was in danger. Yeah, so he's it's a like the Doctor Who episode. You just have to keep looking at him. Or you don't make if you don't make eye contact at all, you're usually good. Yeah, I've seen him many a time. Did that happen today? Did he I didn't make eye contact today. And then, so he just stayed on the porch. What do you do? I just turn around and he stops and then I keep walking. <laughs> because I feel like if he senses the fear, he'll come like faster. I want to start rewatching Doctor Who. I absolutely loved that show. I almost got murdered. That's what you're going to say? Yeah, <laughs> you just really reminded me. I that episode used to creep me out beyond belief. But it was my brothers and I's brothers. It was my yeah. My brother <laughs> She's my, like my brother possessive. and I's yeah, favorite show. We used to watch it all the time. And then he's a now he's a dick. So. But a big one. Jeez. Sorry. Presley. Presley. Let's talk about greatness. And what we did for each other, Jared, what did I get you? Nothing. Oh, yeah, Jerry, what'd you get me? Nothing. We so promised. we're even. So don't like act like I didn't get you anything. No. You I, slut. What? <laughs> nah, you guys said that you guys weren't doing presents. We actually just said kisses. We, <laughs> we actually said we weren't doing presents. And then we just got each other a bunch of like gag gifts, kind of. See, Zach and I stick to our promises. <laughs> get. Man, I'm really sorry. I absolutely deep cleaned his bathroom and bought him a new <laughs> fan. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't include. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Zach oh, and I. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, 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 dude. This podcast. Is so for Christmas, gonna really we weren't gonna get you. each other anything, but Indy's like, I'm gonna pick you up from Vegas, so you don't have to fly back and spend the money. She didn't end up doing it because she decided to stay up late instead. So I didn't want to, dude. I've anyway. Um, so my mom and I, we went out, and I got her like a bunch of like presents, so like she would have something to open on Christmas or like for Christmas when she was picking me up. She hasn't wrapped, unwrapped presents in a while, so my mom and I stayed up to like midnight wrapping presents, and we put little cute sayings on it. And then um, I was like, "Hey," and she's like, I'll "Just get a flight back." And I was like, "But we got you presents." And then she felt really bad. I felt like the worst human in the world. So then she decided to get me presents, and then like whole, go from there. I made like a whole. Um, I've been seeing it on TikTok, like the little cups. Normally, you do it for like twelve days or twenty five days of Christmas or whatever. I'm surprised you didn't make a TikTok out of it. So I made like one of those like big boards that like have the cups, and you like punch a you punch the cups, and then you take and start a picture, Jared. And then um yeah, we spent like the two days that Jared got back, and I had already bought all the stuff for it, and he helped me wrap it. Riley and I spent two days like going out buying the stuff, and I also completely deep cleaned his bathroom, and it was absolutely no no we're no we're not, we know we're not talking about my I, dirty bathroom. We talk, can't talk about your poop sock. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like gross. It was just dusty. Yeah, and it wasn't gross for your poop sock. But I don't want to talk about my dirty bathroom. Okay, well, whatever. I deep cleaned his bathroom. Thank you. Two males lived in it, just so, so we all know. Anyway. Two very clean males. Disgustingly dirty, but whatever. You um, got a poop sock. <laughs> it's just my thing. I know. <laughs> okay. 
Um, I bought him all new bath towels, a lemon tree. I was very excited. The best present you got me was... The lemon tree. The That's lemon what tree. he was most excited about. Because now there's a lemon there. tree, so when I take a bath, I can, like, smell lemons. How often are you it's taking a, f- a bath? Not often. How how much is our water bill going to be this month? Well, what was your favorite present I got you? We just got each other little gifts. I liked the Harry Potter book. Thanks. The Play-Doh. He got me Play-Doh. <laughs> I was so excited about it. Oh, um... No, no, no. It stains. It stains. I swear to God, if you spray do me it. with... Do it. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. You whore! Ah! <gasps> oh, my gosh. There's no reason for the theatrics. Did you break the chair leg? You broke the chair leg! Dude, we have limited chairs in this apartment, <laughs> and you've broken you one of them. You just broke your chair. You broke the chair. You broke the chair. What are we supposed to Did sit you? on besides my me? face? Where do you break it? Do you not see it? This thing's bent to hell. Jared, They're keep that all up. bent, you idiot. <laughs> I get one it. of these is not like the other. Her. Hell. Now, now you know how girls feel. It doesn't stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It doesn't stain. I'm rubbing this on my clothes right now, and it's not staining. Well, I think because so it's it. new. Usually, if it starts spraying the juice at the end. Whoa. Holy hell. I got to take this off. Hold that on. That was my favorite present. Oh, Jared got a new chain, so he thinks he's better than us now. I forgot don't. to mention that. Thanks a lot, April and Julie. For Andy got a new tattoo. Oh, I, Andy got a new tattoo. I did get a new tattoo. Without consulting me. Um, Interesting. I've told he's you told it. Yeah, I was going to say. Was yeah, but I didn't approve. Anyway, uh, I got to get a new chair, guys. Hold on. All right. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Dark, but it's not glowing in the dark. Well, it's in the light. Well, no, but even when I was testing it in the dark, it wasn't glowing, and I was mad. Well, I'm because mad. it needs to be exposed to light for it to glow in the dark. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Fun fact. <laughs> I always have in the face of my mic. Do that every time. Um, I mean, it's the dark! Here's the light. Now here's the dark. <laughs> She's just playing God. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the, the light. light. Now here's, here's the, the dark. dark. <laughs> How do you know that was his voice? What if it was like, you know, on the seventh day, let there be light. Guys, I've been watching this new show. Okay, let's <laughs> retry the word. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, I a potato. I've been watching this new show called Bridgeton. What's it called? Bridgeton. It's a weird name. It's it's like Gossip Girl meets the 1800s. Ah. It's, in fact, exactly. It's exactly the show I've been looking for. No, actually. <laughs> it's like, it's, I it's, want that, but the is, Civil War involved. I'm sorry, but it is verbatim Gossip Girl meets the 1800s. Is it? Yeah, there's like this thing it's lady whistleblower or whistle whistle tell it whistled something whatever and she like so she's a snitch is that what it is no she like tells the gossip of the town and like the daily mail kind of thing oh and it's all about like them getting married and not allowed to have sex and it's really good. what so they take all the fun out of it well because in the 1800s for a girl to like lose her virginity or kiss somebody is like to be dishonored speaking of things that really matter to talk about um is it clothes or clothes <gasps> wait, 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 wait. We're waiting. We're not saying anything. You know what I mean? Go ahead. All right. This is going to be a, a fun, nice story. I'm excited. Indy helped buy me a computer. Oh, yeah. She bought me half a computer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I- which I'm so excited for. Why? I'm so sorry. So for Christmas, I got Jared half a computer and our thing that is like, one of our like things is like we send each other in really inappropriate Venmos. Yeah. And so I called him, I just Venmoed him out of the blue for it because I was like, ah, he kind of already knows it's coming because I spoke to him about it because I was like, hey, this is not only How gonna much? Ch- I'm not going to tell. What? You can't say that you got your friend a $2,100. I feel like that's really nice and people want to hear that. Just because you're doing well in the industry and you're making money doesn't mean that you should be ashamed about it. And if you want to do a nice thing for your friend and give him $2,100, feel free to talk about it on this podcast. I, I don't think it's like, it's not that I'm like ashamed of the money that I make, but I just like sometimes I feel bad that there are people that are less fortunate and like I never want to make people feel less because I... No, just, I don't think they get that. I, th- people, I, think it's, I think they think it's cool. Yeah, people love that. Like, Because it's like, a oh, reason, this isn't a life I have, so I want to listen to it. There's a reason David Dobrik has given out 13 cars, you know, one of them being a land. Lamborghini, like really? three hundred thousand dollars. Gave away a Lamborghini. Yeah, it was to a who? partnership Ilya? with no he, with SeatGeek. No, it was a partnership with EA for Need for Speed. Wow. But who did like, give the Lamborghini to Heath. Heath. <laughs> oh, sorry. But people love that because like they, it's just like a feel good moment. Like 
yeah. we've talked about how okay. shitty my computer has been recently and so, dying and stuff. And so, so, J- so Jared's computer has absolutely been crashing on him, and he like his livelihood is on that thing. It's like he edits the podcast, he edits, you know, for you know, extra money, like for other creators. For me, he does all my editing. Um, it's where he makes his music. So, so she's she Venmoed both of us twenty one hundred. Well, I haven't got mine yet, <laughs> but I'm pretty excited. <laughs> So but yeah, I'm sitting. I'm sitting on my couch. This is the it. day after Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. And so I definitely because I forgot wasn't, to do it on Christmas. But it wouldn't be a gift from India if it wasn't a day late. Um, a for me, yeah. That's yeah, true. and so I'm just sitting on my couch, and all of a sudden, like I'm watching TV, and all of a sudden. I get a notification from Venmo and it's $2,100 and it's Indy going, don't watch too much porn on your new computer. <laughs> Jared is a big porn guy. Remember you had premium? I'm not a big porn guy. I just thought Zach. that was so funny because we always do super inappropriate Venmos and I was like, this is the perfect thing to say for such a large Venmo and like something that you've been wanting for so long. Like Jared has needed a new computer for did so long. Did you order long. it yet? I did. It's coming. He ordered it like he was building it how the many, second how I many sent him Venmo. Literally how much was it? 42. There we go. I knew it. Did I know? Yeah. So I spent, I paid for half of it. For and it? I got towels? I paid for half of it and then I helped you pay for the other half of it because of rat yeah literally that was so that was your money you you worked for that the new computer is like four times better than the one i have now and the one i have now when i bought it in 2016 how much is it this one was like it was like 2200 or something but like even then back then like it wasn't the top of the line but it was still like better than most i haven't bought a computer since 2014 you didn't Um, do anything on it i got 64 gigs of ram I got the fastest, or like the fastest processors uh, that they have, the the best graphics card, two cool, terabytes. Man. So it's anyway, a good computer. It's a good computer. Sick man. I'm just excited. No worries. I want to know when. Okay, so I used to edit and like do videos for Indiana, and you know I, <laughs> I already. Know I did, actually I didn't going. I didn't really get paid like towards the second half because you lived in my house. No, no, not that. When we were doing them recently, I want to know how I lost my job. Because you stopped wanting to edit and you became more. No, of like I never said that. It was just gifted to him. But you well, because, became because more of a you, content creator. Well, no, it, no I'm going to be honest because you stopped needing the editing money and Jared did. I need the editing money. No, but at the time, like Jer- like you had your brand deals to be able to support you. Jared had literally nothing to support him besides editing work. That's facts. Support Zach, these. don't chew into the mic. That's, That's so gross. I absolutely I hate support it. these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, you became more of, like, a partner versus, like, an editor for me. Like, we were creating content together. Like, you were... Like, I want to do it again. But, like, he became more of, like, a, a almost like a business partner for me. Um, I was just joking about all that. I think I found, like, a new, like, my newer tiktok videos i think oh, i found those like were a, so funny. i think i found and they were a, so much fun to create yeah jared you can pop those in there if you want things you can say at a dog shelter but not a preschool look at that bitch <laughs> all right who wants to take a bath <laughs> who, who's ready for a bath <laughs> if you put them on a leash they can't run away <laughs> <laughs> my uncle likes this one i think we're gonna buy it oh. <laughs> Now, yeah, no, I'm looking for a black one. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, if you uh, give them trees, they'll follow you home. <laughs> Let me check if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh my God. It was a girl. Yeah, no, shot collars are great for keeping them quiet. <laughs> yeah, keep the kids quiet. No, that one needs to go back in its cage. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, could you get your head out of my crotch, please? Jesus. Jesus. What are you the <laughs> Uh, don't pet the tiny one, it gets a boner, so. <laughs> oh my god, they look so cute. I'm gonna take five. Five? Ah, that one's a humper. <laughs> yeah, the slow one tends to drool. <laughs> but though, that's like more of my TikTok lane, I think. Uh, Indie, I don't know if you don't, it's not that you don't like to, sometimes you don't want to make content. Yeah. Whatever, so... No, you can talk about it. She doesn't really want to make content with me anymore. No, it's it's not that I don't want to make content with Zach. It's just recently I feel like I haven't wanted to make content, period. Like, it's not just you. It's just that sometimes I get into these headspaces where... I don't know. It's, it's really weird. I get into really, really weird ruts and, like, you well, know... Yeah. Yeah. So Indy and I built our TikToks kind of up together. We were a very similar number or not very similar. She was still higher than me. And then we kind of built it up together. So my brand was like heavily influenced with her. And then once she got in this rut, like that kind of cut like my money and my views like down exponentially. So like it was hurting for a while. Um, But I feel like I'm starting to find like a new lane a little bit. I think like this. Yeah. 
I think I what think it's, it's going just about back finding to a balance now. Like I think that I like I will admit like I've been in like a really like poor headspace to do with like social media. Like I haven't even been putting content out. Like I haven't posted on Instagram in over a week. Like I only just posted on TikTok and it had been over a week. Like I just haven't been in the right headspace to create content. And, yeah. I, and I haven't wanted, I've never been the person to want to create content just for the sole purpose of putting content out. Like I've, I've wanted to actually like what I do. Yeah, I know what you mean. But like I was saying, but we built up our things yeah. together. So that's why it kind of put me in, I'm not faulting you, but it like no, put yeah. me in a hard spot. It's like my views dropped considerably. The brand deal stopped coming in because we stopped making videos together. And it's like, so now I'm trying to find like a new lane. So like my newest videos, I've been having a lot of fun with. And so if you guys have any ideas, see, my thing is, I think it's getting back to the root of your TikTok, like when we first started. I know, but those, because th those didn't do numbers. Well, like, but I'm they, saying, they did like, numbers enough to get you, because before you started, it got, I got you to, to yeah, I got to 600K. Five, you got to 600K, you know? So it's like, it, it's getting back, I think, to the root, because then it's like, you guys started working together and you both like exponentially exploded. Oh yeah. Know? We gained like one time... We both gained like two hundred fifty thousand followers in like four days. Yeah, the most I ever gained was yeah, it was like yeah, we were on the TikTok. I was on the, the TikTok releases this chart every week or two weeks, and it's like the most the the creators that have grown the most in the past week. And I think I was like number three on the list because I'd gained like five hundred thousand followers in like a week. It was yeah, insane. we were we were like a force to reckon with. We were a pretty good duo. We were getting like twenty million views on videos and stuff. So like that's why I was like, that's. That's why it was hard and to like, like, switch lanes. And it's like, this is like, honestly, this is like kind of like, I guess it's like a good topic to like touch on. It's like crazy. Like I didn't know how much like, not to like get too dark or be weird about this, but like I, I wanted to be like honest. It's like, I didn't know how much like, like how bad of a mental state I was in. And like, I didn't know how much it was like really affecting me. And like, it, it still is affecting me. Like, I just don't want to like do anything. It's not healthy at all. But and I like do, but I do notice like, when we do like like it, it genuinely like makes me sad to like know that we were like doing so well and then it just because oh, like yeah. I stopped like yeah it, it eats me up a little bit because I feel like we could have taken over that app no like it makes me so sad because I kind of just like threw like I threw away so much I want to get upset no but to go along with this when we did the video the other day of like we did the um the improv thing, I could tell you like doing that. You had fun with that. Even though you didn't want to do it at first, I think you had fun with that. So I think I think it's it's like I was reading this book where it's like um it's there's like a wheel. It's inspiration, but you can't and then motivation and then action. Oh, okay. I guess it's just us now. I don't really know what to talk about. Oh guys, you know it'd be pretty sick. Okay, so I'm working I want the audience to help me um find the podcast best moments you know send me um like the the funniest moments the moments that made you laugh the moments that made you cry the moments that made you smile or like the happiest you know um i'm working on kind of like a we, a little highlight reel you know um and so that would be super helpful uh, i would very much appreciate it oh so guys i've been working on some um new music so this is very exciting um, if you guys remember my first song, Lose You Too, um, thank you so much for A, getting it to 100,000 streams on my first song. That's insane. And my second song, too. My The second song, Wish You Weren't Always Right, is like at 124, 125, somewhere around there, um, which is absolutely, and it got to that within a month, which is mind blowing. Um, but uh, so, but my, from my first song, Lose You Too, the vocalist Emerson, um, I have a new song coming out with her um it's gonna come out in like february i think probably february 12th that friday um and the song is called mean it i wanted to play you guys like a little like a little snippet of it if you guys want to take a, a gander take a listen to it um i'm gonna start i think this part is like the the pre-chorus right before you know the chorus i'll just play like a little bit of it Anyway, so that's the song. Um, just wanted to kind of give you guys like a little preview for it. 
give you like a little sneak peek, heads up, um, get you guys hopefully excited. So let me know in the comments if you like it. I'm just talking to my, holy hell. You look like you had a fun time in there. And they're back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the last little um, point I wanted to make was from a, a book I've been reading. And it's it it shows this wheel, and it's um, inspiration, and then motivation, and then action. So, like, you have inspiration, but you need the motivation to get um, the action. But they're, like, take out the motivation altogether, because once you start the action, if you just, like, will yourself to do it, not like procrastination, whatever dark thing you're going through, like, you'll find the inspiration. And, like, I feel like motivation is just so hard to find, and it's so, like... Um, it's so fake in a sense. Like I found like if I don't want to do something like write or do whatever, once I just dive into it in about 10 minutes, I'm fully engaged in it. Mm -hmm. I think that's way better than like trying to find, it's trying to find motivation through other things or like waiting for it to come. Yeah. Cause if you wait for it to come, it like probably eventually will, but who knows when that could be, it could be an hour, a day, a week, a month, a year, whatever, you know? So it's, I, I totally get what you mean. Cause I had been kind of, I mean like I've been putting out, music and stuff um you know i'm not even gonna mention it no yeah you know we're just and gonna, he's crying her eyes out but like i've been you know i've been putting out music and like working on some stuff but i also felt like i was kind of getting myself into a rut where i was feeling not inspired and not motivated to actually sit down and make it um and then i was you know traveling home and back and so i had you know multiple flights that were you know three four five hours long and I had nothing to do but just sit there and force myself to do it. And then I ended up making, you know, uh, or starting like a couple ideas that, um, you know, I think was are. The, was that what you did on the plane? The one that I liked? Yeah. That we were, yeah. Really? So um, I started like you two ideas. Your best music on a plane. I do my best writing on a plane. Really? Because like there's no distraction. You can't get it's on the internet. No phone. Exactly. I, like, I, I feel like this could sound really weird. It's like I know I do. I'm just happier. Um, real quick, I would like to speak about something that absolutely frustrates me more than anything else in the world. Well, this could be anything. People that use baby voices, not when, not when they're talking to dogs or babies, but when they're just like, like I watched this, I saw this like, uh, you do that. I saw this girl, I kind of want you to put it up and it's nothing against the girl. I'm sure she's very nice, but it's just her voice that absolutely triggered me. She was showing, um, that on Apple watches, you can do something called walkie talkie. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. On the new Apple Watches, there's a walkie-talkie thing. So I can literally click it and be like, da 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 and it'll come through live to you, and then you, like, do the same. It's like mm. literal walkie-talkies, but on Apple Watches. That's pretty cool. Which is really cool. I wanted us all to get Apple Watches for that reason now. Phone calls are the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know, but it's just cool that, like... Yes, yes. Okay. She was doing it, and... Hello? <laughs> Jared? Hey. I'm talking to you, like, from across the room, right? Dude. It's like walkie talkies. It's like no, walkie talkies. Over. <laughs> over. No, I just. She's over us. She doesn't have to answer. It's just like, it's just, it just comes. So it's like a phone call, but you don't get to decide if you want it. <laughs> that was like my dad with me. That might be so fun for us all to have Apple Watches. Yes, Watch. of course it would be fun. Hey. It's what are the odds you buy us all Apple Watches so we can do it? Oh, 1 million percent I'll do it. What? Yeah, I'll buy us all Apple Watches so we can have walkie-talkie Apple Watches. Are you kidding me? All right, cut, all right. cut to yeah. next. If we yeah. all have Apple Watches next week, I'm going to freak out. How much are they, Jared? So, it's... I want to hear what he's saying. He's not saying anything. Do you see his mouth? Jared, do not let yes, her touch I do. He's Jared, don't let her touch it. Jared, don't let her touch it. His mouth is not moving. Am I still talking to Jared? Oh, you got can this. Can she figure out headphones? <laughs> can Jared get you <laughs> Yeah, she can hear you. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Over and out. Oh, wait. They're not that bad. Okay. Yeah, you want to buy them? I would love a new Apple Watch. Might as well buy them on the podcast buy for the content. Right now. B dead ass. Do they all have walkie-talkie features? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Are you kidding <laughs> yeah, me? All right, Zach, you want to come over here and pick out your Apple Watch? Yeah, I want the cool one. Will you wear it? Huh? Will you wear it? Do you want me to? Oh, yeah, this If you're not walkie-talkie, that'd be Sit. Sure, I'll wear it. Will you, no, will you actually? Why would I? You get an oh, Apple Watch, would I? and I refuse to wear it. All right, we'll be back in a second. We're going to pick our Apple Watch. 
just... But the rule of the walkie-talkie is you must answer the walkie-talkie no matter where you are or what you're doing. doesn't matter if you're in a really f***ing important business. Okay, let's set the rules of the walkie-talkies while we're on the podcast. Okay. Watches. You want me to walkie-talkie while I'm wanking? <laughs> I- you want me to wank and walkie? Walkie-talkie wank? <laughs> the rule of the walkie-talkies are no matter what you are doing, no matter where you are, no matter who you're around or what the walkie-talkie says, you must answer the walkie-talkie. Understood? You are not going to do that. I'm going to. I set the rules. I'm going to. No matter what you're doing, where you are, or like we have, that's the rule of the walkie-talkies. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, you're on your next day with, hey, Jared, how's it going? Oh, God. I wonder how it works. Do you have to, like, turn the app on for you to get it? So, it says here... Uh, you turn on the walkie-talkie app, uh, but if someone tries to reach you while you're unavailable, like it's off, a notification still appears asking if you'd like to talk. The so, minute it says if you'd like to talk, we have we all have to. Yeah, like it's like the rule of thumb: we have to. I yeah, I'll agree to that. We're getting walkie-talkie watches. That'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I walkie walkie rumba. All right, uh, let's get into some fan questions. Hi, Andy, Zach, and Jared, and guest, if you have a guest. My question for you guys is about feeling lonely, or that I people get bored of me very easily, because ever since the whole COVID thing started, I have a very hard time talking to my friends. I just feel like there isn't a conversation anymore, and that just made me feel kind of lonely, but I don't want to seem like I'm seeking for attention. If I talk to them, I will have a feel, and I have a really hard time making new friends. So I hope you guys have some advice on that. I just wanted to show you guys real quick the wall behind me. I've painted every single one of those cars almost wow. exclusively. Wow, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was gonna... You guys have helped me so much through this crazy time. So I really wanted to do one that represents the podcast, but I don't know what to do. So if you guys have any ideas, that will go a little bit with the wall. I would love to hear that. Nadia, I present Tim in the... One present team Zach, one present team Jared, because I don't want any of you guys to feel kind of left out, but I love you all. Okay, for the, for the dropouts painting, what if it's like, it's almost like an iPhone wallpaper in like a really cool like 70s font with like pinks and blues, and it's like swag daddy, swag daddy, swag daddy, and then um, what's up? I feel up? like that we all should get one. No, no, I'm saying, and then it's No, I'd say what's up, B-words, B-words, whole milk, whole milk, whole milk. Oh, that would be really cute. That, I like that. Now on to making friends. This is how you do it. Well, I- You cold call. It's- Keeping friends. Okay. She said she's got a hard time making new friends. Jared, how do you Just, keep your friends? How do I keep? That's a good question. I am so terrible at communication. Like if I. I think you're incredible at communication. Mm-hmm. You pick up my calls at three in the morning. Yeah. But the thing is, I would never like, you I hardly, I hardly ever reach out to anybody. Oh. And that's my issue. Not that I don't like, I think about my friends all the time. Like, especially my friends back home. Like I think about them all the time and they're, you know, whatever, but I never actually pick up the phone and call them or text them or whatever. And it's not because I don't want to. It's just Zach's like, pretty good at that. I well think both of you are like, oh, I'm not good at it. Text and call I, us I all the time. Yeah, but but if I want to yeah, talk to somebody, I guess you guys are my I only call. friends. <laughs> what What'd you say? say? I missed what you said. Oh, no, it was nothing important. I just said if I want to talk to somebody, I call them. I think I overthink it too much. And I think that I'm going to be like a nuisance and like they're not going to actually want to talk to me. And No, I feel like if somebody just, a friend called me, it was just like, yo, what's up? Yeah, I don't, th- I think you're overthinking a little bit. I think. If you want to talk to somebody, call them. If they answer, have a conversation. If they don't answer, you don't. And also, like, I I get running out of things to say because, like, you know, it's COVID and nothing's really happening. But um, also, nothing's wrong with just, like, a five-minute phone call. You know, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a four-hour thing. You could literally just be like, hey, I watched this show, like, and this funny thing happened. I thought of you. Ooh, that could be fun for your... Instead of a book club, have like a Netflix club. Oh, that and you guys like all watch the show and like talk about it afterwards. I think Netflix has that like party feature where you can like literally it syncs all of the shows at the same time. So like you could literally watch it as, a, as a, at the same time as everybody else. What do you think, Texty? My friend posted a cool Instagram photo and I wanted to let her know that it was cool. This next question, it's a simple one. I thought it was kind of fun though. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what she's talking about in the second <laughs> half of it, but uh, <laughs> I thought the question was kind of fun. Hi, Dropout. So I want to know if you had to pick two movies to like do a crossover, which two movies would it be? And also, I don't know have you watched uh, Day Drop, but can can we see the person that won Drapeout like 
who won Indy's Heart be on the podcast. And also, I'm Team Indy all the way, but I love Jerry and Zach. I did like this dating show for Awesomeness TV and like it was all like via Zoom and I had to like it was so bad. I felt so awful. It was like eight or eight or nine guys on the on the call and like if I wanted to boot them off, I had to be like, I'm sorry, our connection's just not there and then remove them from the Zoom. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. It's well, kind of brutal. Like, I'm so sorry. Like I felt so bad. So yeah, that's what I had to do. Uh the guy that won, I, I, I haven't spoken to him. He just he won, and that was about it. I had no idea what <laughs> she was talking about, and I was like, maybe Indy will know. So, what was the first half of the question? What two movies would you want to see, like, a crossover That's a great for? question. I just thought it was kind of fun. And easy. Oh, and then there's a second part. Uh, not a second part, but someone asked. You Shrek the Notebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could weave this into th- this question, but he asked if you could, like, live in any sort of, like, movie universe whatever you shrek. know shrek and the notebook and the movie. notebook if i could live in any movie universe that's not harry potter that was important that he said wizards or waverly place oh. wizards of waverly place would you, would you, place. you, would you combine it with anything i would live in the pokemon universe wizards of waverly place oh that would be cool oh the best wizards of waverly place combined with charmander i choose you vampire diaries charmander or it's, I'd either want to combine Wizards of, to live in, this is to live in, I'd either want to combine Wizards of Waverly Place with Vampire Diaries or Gossip Girl. Or Gossip Girl. Gossip Probably Girl. Gossip Girl. I think that'd be so fun to just be rich and a wizard. <laughs> rich and a wizard. A rich wizard. This is sick. What do you mean? I want Transformers. Robots in the sky. And Jurassic Park. I want, I want, I want dinosaurs Whoa. and robots just running, Whoa. roaming the earth. Autobots. Robots. <laughs> I can't do it. Who would have thought? Hey, guys, we That's need um, some more older people to send in some videos because we want to get more perspectives of people our age. No, we love the younger people, too. Don't get me wrong. But we just want to mix it in. So if you're, like, 18 to, like, 30. I feel like almost when the younger kids send in questions is, like, we, I feel like we're going to give the same answer as their parents almost is because, like, we've lived through that period of our lives and we know that it's maybe not that serious. or And then that's not me discrediting anybody's feelings. Happy but it's, New Year. <laughs> that came to my head and i think it was tourette's uh, how to kill a vibe in a room dude it came it came to my head i was literally thinking and i forgot we did the sparkler bit and it came to my head and i was like this is gonna come out after new year's and it just came out what okay like, like i've i didn't mean to holy hell i apologize Concerning. <laughs> it's not us discrediting the younger viewers, but it's just like we, especially with the younger relationship questions, it's never about the younger feeling questions. It's about the younger relationship questions. We're like, oh, we've been there. And this is like, I love like seeing the questions and stuff, but I really try to pick stuff that we either haven't heard before or like haven't heard in a certain way or like they are unique, which is like why I like the but also, what two movie universes would you cross or whatever. It's like, that's cool. But like, um, but also um, I'm going to log into the dropouts account and this is not to discredit any of our younger viewers because I genuinely still think you guys need advice. It's just, we might not necessarily put it on the podcast, but I want to log into the dropouts and like answer some of you guys privately. Cause you guys need the advice regardless, whether I tell you the same thing I would say on the podcast or you guys, I can reference you to an episode to watch. Like, I want to be able to, like, talk to you guys. And that's another thing. So many people ask questions that we've already answered before. Because they haven't watched those episodes all the way through. Because, like, sometimes podcasts are just, like, snippets. Whatever. Let's do memes. Here are... Here's the first meme. Uh, Zach, when Indy says something about her mom. (laughs) That's so accurate. (laughs) I don't like the face that Woody's making. Listen, I'm just trying to... I'm trying trying to take this girl to Sonic, get a couple slushies, you know, and then make that slushie down low. I've never been to Sonic. I just want the Slurpees there. They look good. Slushies. Slurpees are a delicacy. Where are Slurpees from? Seven Eleven. You, I don't like stuff like that. Like okay. Icy's Slurpees. Oh, Icy's are Icy's. completely different from Slurpees. Slurpees are superior. It's too sugary for me. Right, anyway, next meme. Um, too on. sugary for me. Rampods. Play the freaking meme. I will fight you so bad. Do it, Jared. Oh, did we got TikTok. We got a TikTok. Somebody sent this. Um, and yeah, you'll see why I chose it. Never have I ever. If you put even one finger down, I immediately don't trust you. Edition. Never have I ever enjoyed drinking milk in a glass by itself. If you do that, you're a psychopath. You're literally a snake. Nobody trusts you. You're so toxic. Like, get out of here. I, I saved that to send to you. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. So they that just blatantly just 
called me out on that. But anyway, that's All right, it. guys. Thank you guys so Thank much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got to go do laundry and everything. Hold on. If you stay till the end, DM me on Instagram your favorite quote because I would like to read them. I love, I'm a big quote guy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps our algorithm. I'm Indiana. That's that justice. This is your bad music. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod. Bye. Kiss me if you see me in public. Zach, it's a pandemic. Don't ah, do that. Kiss me after the pandemic in public. Maybe, maybe even a little like, air high. Yeah, like give me a head. High five.